Tonight, Local News 8 is learning more about the life and character of the pilot who died in last week's a tragic crop duster accident near Arco. Local News 8, Seth Ratliff is here in the studio. Seth, what did you learn? Todd, Linda, I spent the afternoon talking with pilot Sage Teichert's lifelong friend, Jared Gifford, who says his friend was the safest pilot he's ever met. Here is a small window into the life and influence of the Idaho crop, crop duster pilot, Sage Teichert. Jared Gifford met Sage Tykert 25 years ago at the Missionary Training Center in Provo, Utah. He says his best friend was quite the character and a great father who loved to make people laugh. He was a cowboy from Nevada originally and the, the skinny little cowboy that, that you'd imagine. And he was fun, he was happy, he had an infectious smile that you just couldn't be around him without smiling and being happy. Soon after, that Nevada cowboy traded in his saddle to ride high above the Idaho skyline. Sage was interviewed about his experience as a pilot two years ago. Really enjoy everything about aviation. As long as it's a seat in the air, I like it. So I, I've done quite a bit of that. Jared says Sage must have trained hundreds of pilots throughout their friendship, including his own daughter. His main emphasis, safety. I mean, safety is always one of the top priorities with everything that, that Heinens do. And I've gotten a, a huge array of experience and just being able to see the everything from so many different angles helps me as a pilot. He pushed safety like no other pilot I've ever known. I know it, it, it's shaken a lot of us. I've, I've had at least half a dozen other pilots call me and ask me, how, how did this happen to Sage? And, and we don't know, we, we don't know, but I know it's not because of anything that he did. There's just no way because he was too safe of an individual. Jared says Sage knew the dangers of crop dusting, but he was bit by the aviation bug early. And that passion allowed him to be the sole provider for his wife and four children. Moving forward, Jared hopes the tragedy will inspire everyone to be safer and spread kindness where they can. I think. Sorry. I think Sage would appreciate that. If, if this horrible, tragic accident can just help more people, just help us all be a little kinder and reach out and help more people, I, I think he'd be happy with that. Jared and his wife Stephanie have put together an online fundraiser to support Sage's family. As of this afternoon, they have already raised over $11,000. We have a link to it on our website, localnews8.com.